Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at what is a database. So a database is a data store that stores semi-structured and structured data. And just to emphasize a bit more, a database stores more complex data stores because it requires using formal design and modeling techniques. So databases can generally be categorized as either being relational, so structured data that strongly represents tabular data. So we're talking about tables, rows, and columns. So there's a concept of row oriented or columnar oriented, and then we have non-relational databases. So these are semi-structured that may or may not distinctly resemble tabular data. So here is a very uh, simple example. The idea is that you might some, use some kind of language like SQL, put in your database, and you'll get back out tables for relational databases. But let's just talk about some of the functionality that these databases have. So they can be uh, using a special specialized language to uh, query, so retrieve data, so in this case, SQL. Specialized modeling strategies to optimize retrieval for different use cases. Uh, more fine-tuned control over the transformation of the data into useful data structures or reports. And normally a database infers uh, someone is usually using a, a relational row-oriented data store. So, um, you know, just understand that when people say database, that's usually what they're talking about, like Postgres, MySQL, relational row store uh, is usually the default, but uh, obviously there, there's a lot more broader terms there, okay?